But they supposed to be putting medicine in America to help motherfuckers feel better, to help you live better. But these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about the medicine. They out making their motherfucking money. They give you one medication, supposed to fix some shit, and the side effect, fuck up your leg and shit. Then they give you another one to fix that, and it fuck up your arm, and now you on two medications looking like a flamingo in front of your motherfucking children and shit. These motherfuckers don't give a fuck. Just one month, they say this is the best medicine ever. It'll cure everything. And then three months later, you hear this quiet ass commercial. Have you or one of your loved ones been killed from using our medicine? Dial 1-800-R-BAD. That's 1-800-R-BAD. These motherfuckers don't give a fuck. Weed is still illegal and all of their shit is still fucked up. Their medication either don't work or it worked too fucking good. And I wasn't familiar with working too good. And I had to find out the hard way. I got a son that's seven, his name Malik. This nigga run every goddamn day. That's what the fuck he do. You ain't gotta chase him. You ain't gotta train him. You ain't gotta put shorts on him. This nigga is ready every morning. Soon as his foot touched the goddamn ground, out the bed, show that nigga's gone for the rest of the goddamn day. Shoo, 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 shoo. You either see him like this or like that. That's your only two options. Shoo, 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 shoo. And he'd be happy as shit. Now, the nurse at the school say, <laughs> she say it's not healthy. I said, you don't understand the nigga's happy. She said, uh, no, no, you don't understand whether he's happy or not, it's not healthy. I said, now, I don't know what the fuck you want me to do. The nigga, I can't put the nigga in trouble for being happy. That's kind of... <laughs> nigga, stop being happy and get in there and be miserable. I can't fucking do it. So I said, what do you recommend? So she recommended Ritalin. Now, she told me the shit was going to even him out. Now, either I don't know what the fuck even means... Or Ritalin got crack cocaine in it, one of the two. It's a goddamn fact, because this shit is no bullshit. I wasn't ready, he wasn't ready. This shit caught both of us off guard. I gave the nigga the shit in the kitchen. He was on the way to his room. That nigga never even made it out the hallway. That shit caught that nigga in mid-stride. He was just... shit. I'm getting shit done. I'm like, this is wonderful. <laughs> but after three hours, after three hours, you got to come check on the nigga now after three hours. <laughs> nigga, what you doing? My kid's smart ass. I'm being good like you want it, daddy. Okay, touche, my nigga, touche, touche. This what fucked me up. I was like, you've been sitting there for three hours. What are you thinking about? That nigga said, running? <laughs>